Okay, you're in the market for a side saddle, but you're not sure which to get. Mesa Tactical sells the best around. We've always had them here at Freedom Fighter Tactical, and I'm gonna tell you what your options are. Let's get started right now. Hey folks, Todd at Freedom Fighter Tactical. We perfect perfection. We've been the leader in Benelli M4 parts and accessories for 14 years. We sell the most, we make the most, we make the best. We do it here for you at Freedom Fighter Tactical. Absolutely 100% dedicated. Answer the phone 365 days a year. Answer emails 365 days a year. Work my ass off having parts and accessories for you. The best around at all times. Try to stay in stock. Um, and we do that here at Freedom Fighter Tactical for the Benelli M1, M2, M3, M4, Super Black Eagle 1, 2, and 3, and the Beretta 1301 shotgun. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell so you're notified of future videos if all this is of interest to you. Be sure to follow on Instagram and subscribe to the email list at Freedom Fighter Tactical. You can sign up in the pop-up if you've never been there before, or if you have and the pop-up's not there and you haven't signed up, scroll to the bottom of any page on the website. It says FFT Community. And you can sign up right there and you will be in the know of hard to get parts and accessories, new stuff and all that. Folks, today we're going to talk about whether you should do a side saddle on the side of your receiver or on the side of your stock if you're using a Mesa Tactical stock. And that's the key right there, folks. To use a Mesa uh, side saddle on a stock, you have to use a Mesa Tactical Urbino stock. It has the hardware and the design that allows you to add the... Uh, the um, side shell carrier to the stock. Um, all Benelli M4s can have the receiver mounted side saddle. Which do I prefer and what are your what are the options? Well on the receiver side saddle you've got the four, six, and eight in aluminum and then you've got the six uh, shell polymer side saddle which I'm really fond of because of the weight. I just like polymer for the side saddle. I really do. I like it better than the aluminum but with the uh, polymer you only have the six round. If you want four or eight you're gonna have to go aluminum. And then on the Urbino stock, you've got um, four and six round choices, no eight round choices. They are aluminum. And then you've got a left side and a right side. So if you're right-handed, you're gonna prefer to have the right side uh, side saddle so that the side saddle's on the other side of the shotgun. So when you're shouldering it and getting a cheek weld, you don't have the side saddle in your way. And you can also use your, uh, your dominant hand to grab shells and feed them into your gun on the proper side of the gun. If you're a left side shooter, you're going to want the left side side saddle, and that way your dominant hand is, and, and the, the, side, the side saddle's on the outside of the gun, and you're using your dominant hand to reload. Of course, it's a lot trickier for the lefty because you have to pull the shell on this side, and then you've got to come up underneath and flip it into the gun. So it's extra work for lefties. I get it. But overall, what would I do if I'm building my gun, knowing what I know about side saddles? First off, overall, I'm not a huge side saddle enthusiast. I actually prefer a gun without a side saddle, my grab and go. If I'm going to be training, if I'm going to be, you know, if I was going to do a hike through the woods, I probably would use a side saddle. But if I'm going to have the gun sitting, you know, behind the door in my bedroom just to get bad guys, I probably am not going to have a side saddle on the gun. I probably won't have a sling on the gun. I may or may not have a flashlight on the gun. Um, I just want a very simple shotgun for something like that. But anything else, I'm going to want a side saddle. I actually like the side saddle on the Mesa stock, on the Urbino, on the right side. I'm right-handed. That's my preference. I would go with a six round there. I mean, a four round is good too. It doesn't really matter. I mean, two extra shells are really nice but I'm a big fan of the side saddle on the Urbino stock. I'm a huge fan of it. I love it. It does require you to have the right stock. You have to have the Urbino with the, with the, uh, with the cheek riser. And what if you are not using optics? You're using your um, you know, uh, electronic optics or, or red dot or whatever, and you're just using your, your iron sights. Well, you can put the cheek riser in the very lowest position and it doesn't raise your face up enough to bother your, uh, you know, your sight, your uh, field of view through uh, and the sight picture through your iron sight. So that you could, you know, that's an option. If you're using, of course, any sort of optics, you can raise it to where you need to raise it, but it's a great option. Um, the receivers are great. The receiver side saddles are fantastic. Um, I don't have a problem with them personally, but I also don't want it in, I don't want ammo in both places. Some people put it in both places. Some people have it on the stock and on the receiver if you want to have all that extra ammo. And I think that's just fine. If that's what, you know, you do you and I do me. If that's what you want, I mean, that's a great way of doing it. It might help balance out the gun a little bit. If the weight of the gun doesn't bother you with all that on there, that's a great option. But uh, if I'm choosing one or the other, you know, I might choose to do the Scalar Works 
um, up top and put some sort of a red dot or something like that, um, a trigicon, whatever. And then I would do the Mesa tactical stock with the cheek riser and the uh, four or six side saddle on the back. I think that's a great way of doing it. Um, I'm going to be building some guns when I get to Florida. I've got like, <laughs> I've probably got like 14 Benelli M4s at this point. I just got a new one recently that uh, 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 was sent to me by Benelli and I'm really excited. It's actually going through the paperwork right now as I record this video and I will do some builds when I get to Florida where I can show you what your options are and what my, you know, what my various builds are. I don't have any videos like that yet, but those are going to be in the works here in the next few months. But folks, those are my answers. Uh, you know, side saddle on the stock and um, is my favorite. Uh, probably six round there. And then if I'm doing it only on the receiver, I probably would go with a six round as well. Folks, thank you for watching military, uh, fire, police, and medical. Thank you for your service. Uh, be careful out there. We greatly appreciate all you do and all your hard work. And we appreciate your families, uh, sh uh, you know, risking the ultimate um, losses to have you out there serving our country or our localities. Thank you for watching the video, folks. Take care and be safe.